Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So hope all are doing well and safe at home. So don't go outside and stay at home and be safe. Right. So today we are going to discuss about uh, one more concept in operating systems that is page replacement algorithms. <clears throat> so in that uh, we will see what are the basic terminologies we are required to know before going to this page replacement algorithms. So the basic terminology is used. The first one is page. So what is meant by a page? Second one is frame. Frame. Third one is slapping. The fourth one is page font. Fifth one is height. The next one is the techniques used. Right? So page, frame, swapping, page fault, hit, and techniques. Now coming to this page replacement algorithm, we know that so the processor will load the process which is going to be executed into the main memory from the secondary memory. So we know that all the files and all the processes will be stored in the secondary memory. So whenever we are executing the process or a file, whenever we are loading the file, that file or that process will be loaded into the main memory and then it will be executed. So for execution of the process, it should be loaded from the secondary memory to main memory. That is an important concept. right? Now, the question is, is it required to load the complete process into the main memory? The answer is no. So <clears throat> here the process will be divided into different parts and each part will be loaded from the secondary memory to the main memory whenever it is required. So that each part of the process is called page. So process will be having Pages, page 1, page 2, page n. So there will be page number, right? So a process can be divided into number of pages, n number of pages. Now, this is about the page. It's a part of a process. It's a part of a process. So if we want to execute this page 1, first the page 1 should be loaded from the secondary memory to main memory and then only it will be get executed by the processor. Now coming to this frame, similar to the process, the main memory is also finite and the main memory is also divided into different frames. See, main memory so frame 1 frame 2 frame n Right? Now, if page 1 is to, be, uh, is to be get executed, the page 1 should be loaded from the secondary memory to main memory in one among these frames, which is available. Right? So, this is a frame. Frame is a part of main memory. Swapping. See, this is a <coughs> main memory. This is a frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, frame 4. So memory is divided into 4 frames. Similarly, we are having some process. P1, P2, P3, P4. Oh, sorry. You can write here P1. P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7. So there are, uh, here P1 is nothing but a page 1, page 2, page 3. So this is a process. Right? If you want to execute this process, 
first we have to load these pages into these frames so see we are executing this one so page 1 is here next page 2 is here page 3 is here page 4 is here now the processor want to execute the page 5 right now the process i mean the processor wants to execute page 5 now this page 5 should be loaded from the secondary memory to main memory so this is the secondary memory Okay, this is a process. Right. So we want to the processor wants to load this P5, execute this P5. So first the processor will check for the main memory. I mean check for this required page in the main memory. If it is not available, then it will it will load this uh, required page from the secondary memory to main memory. And before loading that it will check for the availability of frames in the main memory if it is available that directly that required page will be loaded into the available frame and if the frame is not available what we have to do so one page should be replaced with the required page so in this example so here there are four frames in the main memory and already the four pages are filled in this uh, frames now the processor wants to execute this p5 page 5 so page 5 should be loaded from the secondary memory to main memory but here no one frame is available not even one frame is not available so we have to replace one page from the main memory with the required page that is called the technique so with the help of sorry this process this process is called a swapping swapping okay so here replacing that means removing the page removing page from main memory that is one step load page from secondary to main memory okay these are the two things must be happen so before loading we have to check for the available frame so this process is called swap out so because we are removing that means we are uh, removing the the page one page among the several from the main memory to the secondary memory so that is called swap out and immediately the required page will be loaded from the secondary memory to the available frame so if you remove the page from the main memory that particular frame will be in an available state so we have we can load the required page from the secondary memory to the main memory so available frame to the available frame so this is called swap in so finally the process of Switching the pages from secondary memory to load secondary memory to main memory is called swapping. So that can be swap in or swap out. Right now, so page fault. So page fault means loading the page required page from the secondary memory to main memory. If the required page is not available in main memory then that is called a page fault so there is a page fault so we have to load the required page from the secondary memory to main memory right so this is called a page fault so that means the required page should not be available in the main memory so that is called a page fault and if the required page is available in page fault i mean in main memory that is called a heap so the required page is not available in main memory. It means the required page is available 
in main memory okay right see for example now let us consider this example itself so already all the frames are full right see okay let us take an empty frame so let us start from the beginning so the page sequence is same the p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 and similarly again uh, sorry p1 p2 and p3 the page sequence the processor wants to execute the process in this way okay so first of the p1 first it will find the processor will find whether the page 1 is available in the frame so all frames are empty it is not available so that means there is a page part so p1 will be here so there is one page part till now coming to the p2 p2 is also not available in main memory second page fault p3 third page fault p4 fourth page fault again p1 so p1 is already available in main memory okay so we need not to swap any page p1 is already available in this one so there is no page fault so there is one hit again p2 p2 is also available in main, main memory so second hit p3 p3 is also available in main memory so third hit so for executing this one we are having four page faults and three hits hope you understood so whether the required page is available in main memory then we call it as a hit whether the required page is not available in the main memory that is called a page fault so the next step of this page fault is we have to load the page into the memory so for that we have to again check for the free slots of a memory that means a free frames so if there are no free frames what we have to do we have to swap that means we have to replace one page with the required page so that swapping that swapping will be taken about this page replacement algorithms so based upon the page replacement algorithms this swapping will be done so which page have to be replaced from the main memory and which page i mean to replace the required page so the selection of a page to remove from the main memory so that is called this page replacement algorithms thus there are three three page replacement algorithms so first one is first in first out fifo page replacement algorithm first in first out page replacement lru least recently used page replacement least recently used and the third one is optimal page replacement algorithm optimal page replacement algorithm so these three are nothing but techniques techniques to replace the page from the main memory with the secondary memory that with the required page okay so hope you understood this one so in order to select which page has to be replaced depends upon the technique which we are using either fifo lru or optima right so these are the basic terminology which we have to learn before going to this page replacement algorithms so page which is nothing but uh, a part of a process a frame is a part of a memory swapping that means uh, replacing the pages from secondary memory to main memory okay then page fault if the required page is not available in the main memory then this page fault occurs and hit the if the required page is available in the main memory so we, we have to do nothing so that is called a hit one hit and techniques so if the memory is full and if the page required page is not available in the main memory then we have to replace one page with the re required page so which page the selection of page to be removed from the main memory will be done with the help of these techniques before lru and optima right so hope you understood guys this uh, introduction to a page replacement algorithms so from the next session we will go with the three techniques so next session we will go with the fifo and then lru and then optima right so let us stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this introduction uh, part this terminology part 
so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much